Welcome back to Time Travel. This is Scott Barnes TV and I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Join me on another journey down the rabbit hole to the 1990s. Grunge was in, we had dial-up internet, there was a lot of excitement around pop culture. There was also peace and prosperity, but most of all, it was the birth of the supermodel. So come with me on a trip down the runway to the 1990s. We're filming. Woo! Okay. We're here in the 90s we and don't you look like 90s. a supermodel. Thanks. I think the 90s was actually the decade of the supermodel. Absolutely. I want to believe it is. I think it is. I actually feel like it is with like Cindy, Naomi, Christy, Linda, Karen. 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 I named all the pencils after those girls because 90s was all about a lip liner. Yes. So we're gonna get into that. Get Love ready. It. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and if you didn't know, you just put a little bit of lip liner on and put some frosted lip gloss over the top of it. I still do it today sometimes, I know. Go ahead, leave comments, call me out, do whatever you have to do. <laughs> I still love it. You were born in the 90s. I was born in the 90s. I was born in 1992, April 13th. Wow. So. Your yeah. birthday was yesterday. It was yesterday. I turned 29. Happy birthday. Thank you. You look Thank good you for guys. an old lady. Thank you. My birthday's <laughs> coming up next week. It is next Thursday, the 22nd. I think when this airs, it'll be my birthday. Yes, it'll air on your birthday. It's actually, you guys are gonna be celebrating my birthday Yay. with me when you watch Amazing. the 90s supermodel video. So, I love the 90s, as everybody else did too, and mm -hmm. I really felt like today was about the runway show. It was about the supermodel. It was about fashion for me. I lived in it. I lived in New York. I was living in it and I had a great time. The 90s was a little decadent. It was fun. Uh, a lot of great movies came out in the 90s. Yes. We'll get into that. Today, normally I do like in makeup, like her foundation before, but I'm gonna do it on camera today. So it's the first time yeah. throughout the series that I'm doing her foundation on camera today. So we can get into the contour just in mm -hmm. case, or if you'd like to call it contour, because we'd like to look a little <laughs> fabulous. I also brought in Yoko, our amazing manicurist. Say we hi. Let's talk about nails for two seconds before yeah. we start on the makeup because what was like the biggest thing during the 90s was uh, the French manicure. And it was a bit of a square oval. So it was kind of like a squoval, right? You like that? It's a square oval. oval. In like the that. nail world, it's actually a term. In our world, it's a Scott Barnesism, just like <laughs> snatural. It's like looking snatched and natural. You're snatural. That's gorgeous face. You understand? <laughs> Tell me what you're going to do a little bit. We're going to do some top coat. Oh, cool. Yes. Yoko's a woman of few words. Yoko does all the nails for our shoot. So yeah. you guys see all these amazing nails, like the half moons, like all the artwork. What else was really big in the 90s was the dark colors, like Vamp. Chanel Vamp was like a huge color. Yes. Remember? Yeah. And I think then after that came Linkin Park After Dark came out, mm -hmm. oh. OPI. It was an iconic moment. Okay, great makeup artist from the 90s, Kevin right. Aquant. <laughs> I came in the 2000s. You were still on the scene. I was little on the scene. You I was were. like Baby Scott. Right. Baby Scott. Who would have thunk, right? <laughs> 30 years ago. So I was starting to do makeup and I was starting to do shoots. I was looking up to people like Kevin Aquant yeah. and Francois Nars. Uh, Francois, I met, I met Kevin as well, but Francois really was an amazing artist sure. to me. I love the way he handled color. He worked a lot with Steven Meisel. He was really into the 70s yeah. kind of like vibe too. I could see you connecting with his kind of I palette and style. He started his cosmetic line in 94. When you saw that, it started hitting Barney's. I think was he was exclusive with Barney's first. Okay. And he, I was like, wow, he did it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like yeah. still working and doing shows, shows, and shoots, all of it. And he still is. He's amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah. he doesn't even need to do it, but he does it, I think, because of the love of it. Absolutely. And what an incredible artist. Yeah. Kevin Aquan, who's legendary, he did a lot of memorable looks and a lot of things that we all look up to still today as makeup artists. So if you guys don't know, look it up. These are people that came before us and it's not just a brand. They are actually artists that were behind their brands. Hats off and lots of love, right? Let's conceal and contour. Let's start Ooh, there. Okay. I love the 90s supermodel wear yes. that you've got going on. Robe, white towel. We're backstage. Very kind of backstage. At first I thought it was like kind of back seat, but we're actually backstage. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Kat Von D concealer because we need a little extra punch today since we're doing runway, right? Yes. Not run away. We're just gonna spot conceal too. Like, you have really great skin, but like everybody on the planet, 
you have your moments where you have little breakouts. For sure. This looks like the tail end of something that was going on. It's the tail end. Yeah, yeah. it happens, <laughs> you know. And I think what's great about you is that you're willing to show everybody that you're normal and that you have beautiful skin, but you too go through moments where you have problems. No one's exempt from anything. No. So when you were in school, let's see, you were born in 90. I was born in 92. Two. By the late 90s, you were in school. By the late 90s, I was in school. What's your first like fashion memory from the 90s for yourself? So this is a great question. I didn't really get to watch many runway shows growing up, but my mom would go to the salon and she would get her hair cut and they would always have fashion magazines and even hair books that right. had fashion shots in them. Where'd so you grow up? Was, I was born in North Carolina and oh. then raised in Tennessee and Los Angeles. So there was hair books. There was hair books. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I like, look at, I like I'm her like, hair I cut. I like her hair. You know, I grew up in salons. My mom yeah, had a salon. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was in it's that situation where it was like, culture. my mom used to make hair books. Oh, really? Yeah, cool. we called them look books, but it was like hair examples. Well, after the 80s, we had like, the salon had like the Patrick Nagel posters yeah, yeah, inside yeah. and everybody had that weird 80s haircut <laughs> with the triggers. <laughs> I'm using my new contour sticks. I love these. I'm so excited. Me too. We're gonna contour the hell out of your face today. Perfect. We're doing runway. I know. We the have whole to. Thing the lights is are bright. You gotta get a little extra punch. And you gotta serve it. You gotta serve it. From the back. Speaking of serving it, yeah. one of the things that I feel like really came into their own in the 90s was voguing. Okay, I went to New York in 86. Yeah. Voguing was already happening. I was a part of that whole culture and living in it. And then Madonna kind of came along in 90. Mm -hmm. It was like, we're gonna make voguing popular. Right. And she did, she like streamlined Mainstream. it. And then it was like, kind of was not cool anymore. For me, I was it like, was done. Eh, okay, over this now, let's move on. It was good. It had yeah. its moment, I'm really building this up a little bit. It's cute. She's contoured a little bit. Ooh. We're gonna snatch the face. That. She's serving looks. I'm gonna go with like really like a deeper shade. I haven't named him yet right now. She's number eight. Lucky number eight. And I'm gonna just kind of carve this neck out. Now I always take it right up around the edge here because I'll blend it out afterwards. But if you want to really make someone jealous with your jawline, this is how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I call it the jealousy jawline because it's snatched. It's like. You're like, what? You could cut somebody yeah. with that jaw. It's lethal. You can it put is. cheese on this mm -hmm. thing. So there was a lot of movies that came out there in the were 90s. so many movies. Good movies, too. Really like, good movies. Popular movies. We both love Silence of the Lambs. I love it. It's one of our favorites. It rubs the lotion on its skin. Whenever it is told or else it gets <laughs> it the hose, hose again. again. Prepare so, yourself. Yeah. You're getting the hose. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just hose people down? They start getting on your nerves. Sometimes. Hose. Hose. There were a bunch of really, really great movies from the 90s. I think one of the most iconic and even one of my favorite is mm. Titanic. Yes. Celine Dion, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. The only problem I have with that movie, and I don't know, I like the movie, so yeah. I'm not dogging it, but, but okay. I will say, whoever wrote that film, I'm not sure who that was, directing it was great, but sure. I think James Cameron also wrote it. He used the word Jack way too many times. <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack. 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 It was like, oh my God. I was in the theater yeah. when I saw it and I was like, how many times is she gonna say Jack? That's funny. This is jacked. It's like the born supremacy where they're like, born, born. <laughs> Aside from Titanic, Clueless, uh, Love. Hello, as, as if. if. Home Alone. That was such a good movie. Forrest Gump. That was all right. No, I know it was really popular. Are you a Forrest Gump fan? I am. We're from Alabama. Right, look, let me just get this straight. If you're from Alabama, you have to love Forrest Gump. Pretty much. No, okay, I'm kidding, just, no. <laughs> it was shot in Alabama. And right, have you ever had an Alabama Slammer? Like the drink? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Is it I good? Have. I don't know if I've ever had one. Mrs. Doubtfire. That was good, hello! I think my favorite scene in that whole movie was when the social worker comes to the house and he's trying to be both characters at the same oh, time. Oh yeah, and he's like changing in between. And it's melting into the tea yeah. and he's like, do you want a cup of tea now? But right. that's Robin Williams, he was so brilliant he at was. like making really you laugh. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, love. Can you. we do the dance? We can. Chuck Berry, so the soundtrack was in that for that song, yeah. Love. I'm a big fan of Uma Thurman. Me too. I worked with her quite a bit. She's badass. She's really like got an amazing personality. I and can I, see that. I think it's because she was a model, went into like acting. Acting mm -hmm. afterwards. That makes sense. I think she's looking pretty. She's cute. She's getting there. She's getting there. I think right now she's a bit cut up. She's got the eye of the tiger she's right now. She's sliced and diced. Yeah. At the Sandlot. The who? The Sandlot. I don't Did know this that? movie. No, know? what is it? It's like the baseball movie. It was like all the kids playing backyard baseball. 
Do I okay. look like I watch a baby? Probably not. <laughs> Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. If they build it, good. they're gonna come. They will come. If That's they what we're it, doing right come. now. We're That's building a face it. and people are gonna come. Get your head out of the gutter. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> Pretty woman. Who? The movie. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. <laughs> Do you work on commission? What's the line? I don't remember what she's like. It's like huge, huge mistake. Huge. Huge. Hu oh, that's what it was. When I gotta go. In. I have to go shopping now. Goodbye. And she leaves. I've made some huge mistakes like that in my life where I was working on commission. One of my other favorites. Tell me. Lion King. Yeah, that was cute. Can you feel the love tonight? I can feel the love All right, tonight. All right, let's toast to the Lion King. Let's toast to the Lion King. The circle of life. Circle of life. Tastes expensive. It's not. <laughs> it's just Chris. It's Chris. Okay, I'm gonna hit this chin a little bit. So should we do like a beating beating? Like, let's really go there. You want a beater? Yeah, like I'm gonna give you a little bit of like eh, and a little bit of eh. That's why I love these new sticks. These sticks are great. They're everything. If you don't know. Now you know. So here's the point of contouring and highlighting with contour sticks. When you want something to come forward, you add light to it across the brow. Do we want like full Cro-Magnum brow or just mini Cro-Magnum? I think mini Cro-Magnum. Not like Neanderthal yeah. on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just blending it out a little bit softer. And then I don't want to lose this edge along this. So I'm just using a little bit of heat from my hands. Sometimes your hands work better than any brush just because of the heat from your body to get a little technical. It's there, you know. I just kind of marry the two together a little bit with a little foundation brush. See? Cute. That's pretty. Oh. It's fine? No. Am I boring you? No, burping. <laughs> it's like every time you eat breakfast and then we get up here, we're like, Rrr. excuse me why I belch into the microphone. It's better than peeing on a microphone. Does that happen? Well, sometimes you have your mic on, you go in the bathroom, you're like in there, <laughs> and then you realize that, that the- like two weeks ago. <laughs> you're like, everybody can hear me. So that's when you sing, you're like, ah, la, la, you can't hear me, I'm so pretty. Oh my gosh. So you just got back from all the Europeans, speaking of European, you got back all from the, the shows. fashion shows, Milan, Paris. Budapest. Budapest. Sounds good, <laughs> well, it sounds pesky. I don't think Budapest is a place where people go to fashion I don't shows. Think I just threw it in there. <laughs> Maybe Hungary had a fashion scene that I was like, privy to, but. No, Russia. St. Petersburg. Amazing. Love. I like Russia, I've been several times. Oh it's yeah? Fun. Mm -hmm. I've been around the world three times. Been around the world, Naya. I feel like we're getting a, a good pace here of the lip, or the contour. The contour. <laughs> yeah, the contour. Keep your lips still. We're going to make a big lip happen. 90s, everybody was getting their lips injected. They had like sausage lips. See, I didn't know that until you, you said that. No, it was crazy. What were they using? They were using silicone. People were getting messed up. Like, I can't tell you how many people that I met, and it's a painful process getting that removed from their lips. Because you gotta open it and then scrape it out, because it doesn't go away. Yeah. So people were messing themselves up, and it was all because of these supermodels had gorgeous lips, and everybody wanted big lips. It was like the thing. We had Carrie Otis. Remember yeah. Carrie Otis oh had God, the big lips? Gorgeous. She's cute, she's working for us. Okay, and then I went and took all the contour off your chin, our night special. Things not to do when you're a makeup artist, like rest your whole hand on someone's chin. Let's open this up do just a hair. More? Yeah, I need some shoulders. You feel like you're pinched in. Thank God you have a bandeau on, otherwise we'd have a nip slip. Okay, so working with my brand new foundation. Ooh. This is okay. a test for her too today. Wow. Not just you, but yeah. also for me. There's a lot of firsts today. Yeah, it's a firsty. I love it. What about slang? I love 90s slang. I still say so many of the different things. All that and a bag of chips. That, but P-H-A-T. Like baby like fat. Like baby fat. Let's dip, yeah. let's leave. We always said bounce. Well, bounce I think that was maybe place. 2000. We started saying the bouncing. We're gonna bounce. We're like, I'm out of here. Talk to the hand. Yeah, because the great. face doesn't want to hear it. What was that that we were talking about? I forgot. Um, oh, snap. Look what I saw. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, right? I feel like that was the biz marquee. Just a friend. Oh, snap. Look what I saw. <laughs> did you ever get crunk in the 90s, Scott? Yeah, with Mary J. Blige, we <laughs> with did. With Mary J. Blige. Take a chill pill for the third decade. We're still doing the chill pill. We're pills. still taking chill pills. Okay, now I'm gonna marry these together, and the way to do that is to blend it together. This is why I like to work with several foundation shades, yeah. if you see. Like this is probably closest to your skin color, but mm -hmm. I'm using a little bit of lighter in here because I want to reinforce that sharpness in the jaw. Sure. And then we'll go over it with a warmer powder. You know what I'm saying? Did you see our TikTok when your Which makeup one? the the one about makeup artist beating your face? Yes. Can <laughs> you ask a makeup artist for a beat face? You Thank you guys so much. I feel like Bartles and James. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Do you remember late night infomercials of the nineties? What are you talking about? Like ShamWow's, OxyClean. Okay, we're marrying these things together right now. <laughs> Warming it up. Look at how pretty you are. That's gorgeous. 
that's a snatchatory situation. I feel like that's one thing, being in your chair, you always pull everything up, and yeah. I feel like it gives the face so oh. much more structure. And a lift. And a lift, which everyone needs. Turn your head that way for me. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so pretty. I'm using so little foundation, because I want to really hit it with some powder. Like, those makeup artists were beating faces. They were not just like, oh, let's put a little bit of moisturizer on and yeah. hope for the best. It was like, it was like <laughs> full drag, full runway drag. I kind of like that it was a little over the top. Those girls were so glamorous. They were like rock stars in their they own were. right. They you were. know what I mean? Yeah. They were more famous than movie stars. Supermodels were really kind of the, in an echelon of their own. They dominated all the magazine covers. Right. Now we're going in with a lighter color because we want to make this just kind of like pop. It's pretty pretty and she's dewy and she's Huey and she's Louie. I like to take little layers and just kind of build it yeah. slowly. And it blends because there's so many. Well, I build colors yeah you know what exactly. I mean it's like because the face is never just one color I've used almost every single shade on here on your face so before we even start to powder we already have peaks valleys highs lows medium tones for sure and you already look gorgeous before we've even begun right. to start to paint with shadows and colors right. and blushes and stuff like that so mm -hmm. speaking of which contouring was like a big thing in the 90s you know and I think yeah. Kevin O'Quan really kind of brought that to the forefront as well. Absolutely. When you look at like the Versace shows and stuff mm -hmm. like that, there was a lot of browns on the cheek. Yeah. It wasn't like a ton of color. Eyeshadows were really kind of gray. There was, everything was very matte. It sure. wasn't like, and the brows were either really strong or really bushy. That Key was... things when you're doing 90s stuff, lips were really lined. We went from berries to beiges to taupes and neutrals. It wasn't until I kind of came on the scene and really in 2000 did we really start getting in that monochromatic palette, which sure. we'll get into because it's my situation. <laughs> what I like to do after, I just gently kind of just brush everything together so it looks airbrushed, yeah. darling. Before we Air even start to powder, before we powder, we must get a little louder. That was a great movie from the 90s too. Powder. Powder. You look like powder in our 30s video. I if you haven't seen like the 30s video, watch the 30s watch video it. where she looks like powder. Because <laughs> there's a moment where you're like, yeah. you look like powder. I don't mean like powder puff. You just look like powder. I think this looks pretty. I'm going to set it. I'm using Makeup Forever's their translucent powder. Now, when this first came out, it was like Flashback City. They corrected it, and now they got it. I like it. It yeah. blurs the lines. It gives the kind of that airbrush look, which is It does. Nice. We're going to do real 90s makeup here. So Ooh. this, I'm just setting the T-zone because it's very fine. You know what? We're going to use my magical powder. <gasps> this is my favorite. If you guys have <laughs> not gotten petal powder yet, Stop sleeping on it. Go get it. We don't manufacture it yet, but okay. it's coming soon to a theater near you. So this is coming out soon. You guys have to go get it. It's one of my favorite products that yeah. you've made thus far. It's kind of like wearing a filter, to be totally honest. That's yeah. like the best way I know how to describe it. It's so. pretty. She's got a little bit of pink in her, so what it does is it like gets rid of those gray undertones. All right, grabbing the fan brush, number 66. Fan. And we're gonna do like real 90s. So we're gonna go with sliced because it was real golden. Like everything was like kind of too golden. Because I don't want it to be any harsh lines and I want it to kind of feel like it's there and we blended it up. So we're reinforcing what went on underneath, but then on the top as well. I love this brush for this purpose because you can really wrap it around in that C shape. And she starts getting really beautifully sculpted. This is why I call it the sculpt and contour. I love this. Pretty, right? So pretty. And I'm going back up underneath the jawline Ooh. just to tighten everything. I love it. So let's talk about walkers. Runway walking, come on now. I mean, There was I, a I, lot of really good models, but not everybody was great on the runway. That's true. There were some runway stars. I'm gonna have to go with Naomi Campbell. I think she's... Slaughtered. In my opinion, like the elite. No, she just looks so elegant, expensive. She's beautiful, she's expensive, she's powerful, she's yeah. strong. Now I'm going in with frame, and we wanna really make this lip pouty. So smile a little bit for me. So I'm gonna really go up underneath here, real dramaticals, like that. Okay, relax your lips. And I'm going to just go right above that lip line. Just kind of make her nice and full. And I'm using Slice. I don't want it to be too dark. It's almost like the same color that we did with the contour on the cheeks. Look at your face. Ooh. No, I'm just gonna soften up the edges on here just a little bit. 
And what I like to do once this is on, like if we were going for a real mm -hmm. 90s situation, mm -hmm. we're gonna just hit it with the puff. And what you wanna do is just kind of marry everything together. Why don't you marry it? Why don't you, you love it so much. Why don't you marry, marry it? it? <laughs> we sound like schoolgirls today. I feel like the 90s, like yeah. bingo and everything was just very was, kind of- It was fun. It was fun. It was kind of like young and high school-y in a way. For you it was, cause you were in high school. Well, I was working. Busy. Working. <gasps> working. I was like beating the streets of New York. Literally, it was like beat or be beaten. And now I'm here doing your makeup. Beating my beating your face. Beating my face. Yeah. This is a face. She's beat. We're going to take you all the way down to Beat Street. That's where I'm headed? We're going there. That's where the bus stop is? The bus stop is, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. We might take a left and go down to Crazy Town. It needs sliced again. We got to like... You got to slice this. We're going to round it. And again, we're using number 66. Now, everybody's like, where do I stop? How do I do it? I can't stop. Don't stop. Won't stop. So you got to just kind of go doing this. Rounding that out and it's framed. And I don't mean framed like, oh my God, she did it. We said pretty. A few times, so we need to drink. My champagne's getting flat. T-Rex arms, yeah, mine yes. is too. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Let's blush it up. Okay, so hair. we're not going in this place here because this is too light, right? Well, it's too pinky rosy. Yeah, it's like springy. Yeah, that's yeah. not the '90s. No. The '90s was like mango fizz yes. with minimalist and maybe strike a rose if you needed to get a little bit of sure. pink in there. But we're gonna go in here. Do you love this? It's a Wet and Wild brush. Shout out to Wet and Wild. Shout out Wet and Wild. But you'll see, this is like the right tone for that '90s overly, yeah, like Christy Turlington cheek. She's strong. She's bold. She's happy. The face is coming together. This was always like a dream of mine to like look like a 90s supermodel. And so today I get to be it. I'm using the rose gold pave powder here. Amazing. Just because I, you know, need it in my life. Yes. This is what's launching on your birthday. Rose gold body bling is launching on my birthday. I'm going to use the big body brush, yeah. brush number 69. Nothing says body brush like 69. 69. Speaking of 69, there was Club Star 69 when they had like 90s diva runway songs. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have to play that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hitting that jawline a little bit with a little bit of the pav. I'm showing everybody all my secrets. I know. I shouldn't be I'm doing like, you're this. letting everything out of the box. All at once. Yeah. Take it in. We're going to go into lit. Let's take Linda, Cindy, Christy, Naomi, and Tyra, and Kate, and all of them. I feel it's this. I feel I Cindy. Cindy. Yeah, me too. We love Cindy. Are you kidding? I did a cover with her like a year ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Aww. When you're really beautiful mm -hmm. and you take care of yourself, yeah. you're not going anywhere. No. It's not just like, oh, she was great in the 90s. This would be great if it was all different. If you take care of yourself, you're not Absolutely. just great from like, oh, she was great Correct. in the 90s. Correct. She's great now. So we did that contour first on the lip, on the outside of the lip. Now we're defining it, and the way we're defining it is going to the edge of the lip line, and we're just rounding it out. What's great about lips is you can change the shape of things. Sometimes if you want the lip to look fuller, I connect the bow at the top. You taught me that. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> what that does is it stops the peaks, and then you don't have to overline so hard, right. and you get the fullness that you're kind of requesting, trying to get out of it. But I don't want a real strong line, so I'm not mm -hmm. pressing super hard. I'm just doing it enough to create an edge, okay? Using matte, which is my lip fetish product, Engagement. It's so good. I wear this one all the time. Do you wear it a lot? Yeah, yes. I love this. It's one of my favorite. I love Commando too, but Commando's Commando like great. a little bit more golden. Yeah. This one's got just a little bit of pink in it, and mm -hmm. because we went so gold with everything else, I felt right. like we need that juxtaposition, which Absolutely. is a little bit of pinkiness in the lip. Me, naturally, I'm very fair, mm -hmm. and I can wear this at any skin tone yeah. for me, and it looks oh, good. really nice. Yeah. I am a little pink in my undertone, naturally. Yeah. On some people, they're like too fair, and they want mm -hmm. that nude lip, and you're fair. Right. It's difficult because it, they're like, there's too much color in it, and you're like, yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to give you like dead lips. Like chalk lips. <laughs> yeah. Well, it happens. I it mean, does. It's one of those weird things. There's a fine line with nudes, especially with matte nudes, where they mm -hmm. don't go like that bright white, you know, where it looks like zinc. Right. You That's know? what I was going to say, zinc oxide. <laughs> zinky, zinky, not so cute. We need a little pinky, not just zinky, okay? And don't be stinky. Don't be stinky. No, okay. but that's a nice lip. What do you think? How do you I feel? love it. I'm going back to the palette, Sculpt and Contour, and I'm going to use Snatched because Frank, I think, has a lot of hair prepared for you today. Okay. Now, the brow was either really defined. It was almost like the 50s brow. It was thin, but it was, it was arched to arched death. Arched and bold. Very bold. Linda Evangelista was platinum, and they gave yeah. her like a harsh brow. I don't want to make it look crazy, but we kind of do. A little crazy. Yeah. 
I love that, Scott. Well, it's strong. Yeah, and it's it, strong. It's... And it frames, you know? This is what's great about it. I'm a strong brow kind of gal. Well, brows, again, I'm gonna reiterate, they were either really bushy mm -hmm. or they were thin. And then Kevin was bleaching everybody's eyebrows up too. Right. That was another thing in the 90s. So there was a lot of like alien brow where it's like, oh, is she albino? No, she's just she's a fashion just model. She just has nothing. I think that's pretty brow. We can start there, make sure that they even. I like to always just kind of feather the front out just a little bit. Yeah. All right. We definitely are working out of the supermodel palette, which is Atelier, because we need it. And these are all names like Superstar, Iconic, Editorial, Ghosty, Slip Dress, Muse, Serving Looks, On the List, Drama, Globetrotter, Plain White Tee, Portfolio, Talk to My Agent, Comp Card. We use this a lot, Runway. Backstage, day that rate. Us? Day rate, that's us. Yeah. Well, backstage is us. <laughs> yeah, well, we're backstage. The after party, that's us. Beauty mm -hmm. shot, that's us. And last that's looks. Us. I mean, it doesn't get any better Come than that. Come on. But I think what we're, I'm gonna do is like hit you with portfolio okay. first. It was all about a cut crease, like serious cut crease, not even just like a little cut crease. It was like mama jamma cut crease and a lot of grace. That's it. I could do this in my sleep. <laughs> so how interesting is I'm gonna photograph you today. I'm really excited. I'm excited for you to make your photography debut. I think it'll be really beautiful. And I think- Thank you for the photo yeah, of confidence. Yeah, That's I have kind of. a ton of confidence in you. I think it'll be kind of exactly what we need today. Using portfolio underneath as well. And I'm just gonna just bring it down just a little bit. You know, it's interesting because when you really examine what was going on with makeup, it was a little bit like the 50s. Yeah, it was. You know, like we did that tutorial and I really dove into like what was going on because I wasn't alive in the 50s, obviously. So I didn't know what the makeup trends were. I mean, you can see what makeup right, looked like. Right, right. But 90s supermodel makeup really mimicked Those colors, the 50s. color scheme, yeah, everything. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like carving out with last looks in the crease. And we're just kind of cutting the crease up a bit like that. Beautiful. Did you watch much TV in the 90s? I wasn't home much. I was booked, I was busy, and was I was working. I was like on my hustle. So yeah. I really wasn't like somebody that sat around and watched TV a lot, sure. but why? Talk to me about TV, what well, do we have? There were a lot of great TV shows. So one of the most iconic friends. We well, yeah, I mean, I saw stuff like that in that one. Right. Living <laughs> under a rock. Yeah. Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel-Air. Awesome. Power Rangers. Never really got into it, but Boy Meets World, I love. Did you like that? Yeah, I thought Topanga was so cute. The nanny. Fran Drescher, she was yeah. amazing. I saw her a lot just because she was in the fashion scene. I'm using a white. This is very 90s right now, and just hitting the lid with the white. And then my all-time favorite show, best TV show, most Open. sophisticated comedy, Frasier. Yeah, you liked Frasier? I love Frasier. I still watch Frasier reruns. We both love South Park. I am a huge South Park fan. I was raised by South Park. Most kids, Sesame Street. You, okay. South, South Park. Park. So what, how old were you? Five? Five. I didn't watch it when I was five. I actually didn't catch on and start watching South Park till I was in college. <laughs> you now know why Lincoln is the way she is. It's from her upbringing with Trey Parker and Matt and Stone. And Matt Stone. So thanks, there you guys. Go. We appreciate you. <laughs> So this is a really quintessential 90s supermodel eyeball. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you bleeding yet? I think so. Am I hurting you? Can we get a Band-Aid? For your eyeball? Can we get first aid on set, please? <laughs> we need a medic. I'm just smoking it out underneath. It feels supermodel realness right now. Let me put some mascara on. I think we need maxed out because it's one of those situations. It's a night, yeah, I mean. Listen, we don't want to be late for the runway show, so we gotta move this along. So we're transforming you from like the ground up. Normally we're like blacking out an eyebrow, we're like doing all kinds of craziness. Right. Putting on a wig cap, and spray painting it to your forehead. Just a normal beauty day no. with Lakin. Mascara was a very integral part of the 90s, so we love a nice, thick, juicy mascara. Just let it dry for a second before we. Okay. Let's talk about music. So, 90s music. I love 90s music. Sir Mix a lot. Baby's Got Back. Christina Aguilera. Genie in the Bottle. She was a lot. Tony Braxton. Art. She was on Breaking It. Barbie Girl by Aqua. That was a very important song for our generation. Yes, it was. I and feel then good about that maybe too. one more time by Britney Spears. Okay, if you don't love Britney, you have to get out. Bye. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Unsubscribe. We're hosing you. We're hosing you. It likes Britney or else it gets the hose again. That's right. Look I used here. to skate to that at the skate rink. That was like my favorite song to just skate to. Now I'm using the black from the Mesmerize palette. You know what people don't realize? 
What? Is that you're the mesmerized girl. I am Look the up. mesmerized girl. They're Lakin's eyes on the mesmerized package. Yes. So if you guys don't know, now you know. Yeah, it was actually one of our first shoots together. One. I was just saying, like we had been together. For quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. I just adore you. I love you. Happy birthday again. Thank you, and happy early birthday to you. Let's not push it, okay? <laughs> I'm not getting any older. Open again, I just really want to punctuate this. I'm gonna use that same black in here. Really, I'm happy with this super model, super pretty look. Yeah, did you have any doubt? No. No. Listen, okay. it'll always turn into something. You just hope it's good. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of open that a little bit so that she looks longer. What was like your 1990s soundtrack? I don't know, what would be? Who did you like? Who were like some of the artists you listened to and that you loved? Well, we loved the Backstreet Boys. Like loved I like pop, pop music, it was yeah. really hitting its stride. Yeah. And, you know, I worked in pop music sure. industry and fashion, so everything was pop music. Yeah. Just like the circles you would be in. It's a pretty good face. That's a great face. Do you feel like you could serve with this face? Absolutely. Are we ready for the runway show? I think so. I think so too. Hope you guys like this tutorial on 90s yeah. makeup, supermodel realness. We're gonna head out to the fashion show. Usually I say, I'll see you at the photo shoot, but yeah. this time- I'll it, see you on the runway. I'll see you on the runway. <laughs> I'll meet you on the runway. I'll meet you on the runway. You did an amazing job today. And of Thank course you. you transformed into the quintessential 90s supermodel. Look at how gorgeous we look. Mm -hmm. We're cute over here too. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this 90s tutorial on supermodel makeup and we're about to hit the runway, so. We are, about to serve some supermodel realness. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Thank you. I love your God look. God bless you. And happy birthday to you again. Thank you. And I'll see you on the runway. I'll see you on the runway. Hi, I'm Frank Galasso, celebrity hairstylist. We are backstage at the 90s Scott Barnes supermodel shoot and runway show. Lincoln, I'm gonna go over some of the hairstyles we're gonna I'm do excited. today. I can't now you, to see everything. You know we've transformed you into so many different people. Yes. Well, today is going to be multiple transformations. <laughs> You're basically going to be every supermodel yes. that ever existed today. That's amazing. It's like all my dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go over some of the looks. Oh, nice. This is some of the storyboards that I have. I love it. Look, we've got Claudia, we've okay. got Christy Turlington, we've got Linda, we have Cindy. Karen. Karen. We've got all of them here, and so you're going to be transformed into all these people. Oh my God. She's all set, ready oh, to wow. go, but you're gonna be really blonde. What I did play around with, which I can't wait to see, was I love this picture of Linda. I love that. So I actually spent a little bit of time and worked with this wig and yeah. tried to really try to really recreate that. So yeah. we'll see we'll see how it goes. That Pekingese look that oh. we're gonna do. It's all been set. Yeah. If you wanna hold on to that, I'm yeah, gonna take I'll some of the I'm gonna take some of the rolls out. I worked in the 90s. Yeah. I worked in a really busy salon. And I want to tell you a really funny story. I worked at Fred Siegel in Santa Monica. Oh, nice. Okay. Back in the 90s. Uh -huh. And back in those days, it was nothing for the salon to have like George Clooney, like Julia sure. Roberts, you know, all these people would be sitting getting their actual hair done. Mm -hmm. And Linda, yeah. Evangelista, was literally like larger than life back then. And all I remember was she had actually was there shopping. and. Fred Siegel was two sides. There was one side and the other side and you could, people kind of walked across the street. Sure. Someone walked in and said, oh my God, Linda Evangelista is across the street yeah. shopping. I have to oh. tell you, Lincoln, literally like 40 women with towels <laughs> around their hair. And just people, darted. No, they just darted <laughs> like this major like, rush so across funny. the street. They all wanted so to see funny. what she looked like in That's real life. Hilarious. I probably would have ran too. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was just so larger than life yeah. in, in the magazines. Yeah actually more famous than most of the actresses that you that you see. Yeah. Let's get all this out. Uh, <laughs> let's get some more of a chicanese, chicanese, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what Scott calls it, a chicanese. It's so funny, it's so cute. It's chic and it's like a Pekingese. Yeah. Like, I, I look back now and I think, oh my God, I used to go to work so dressed up. Right, right. Like literally like outfits, club outfits, wow. just to go to work. And we were busy, like literally, I would go to work and I would be 15 people deep all day long. Crazy. <laughs> uncomfortable shoes, uncomfortable clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see, once yeah. we've kind of got this on, we're gonna grab all of this. We'll do that whole like chicken knees. I'm gonna brush a little bit more of this curl out. It's kind of gonna be like this, you know? Yeah. We used to curl yeah. it like this and then we'd brush it and brush it yeah. and we'd just get this beautiful body. Sure. And this, on you. It's gonna be so gorgeous. We're gonna transform into. I'm so excited. One of this That's looks. gonna be great. I know, That's I can't wait. Be so good. Yay. 
I can't wait for you guys to see all the different looks we're going to do today. Enjoy the show, the 90s Scott Brown's Runway Show. Bye. Bye <laughs>